The reality is the principle is an Olympic principle and it's in place for all the sports. And it's a principle that has to do with the geographical universality of the games. If you only get the best of the best of the best, maybe there's going to be like, I don't know, out of 90 uh, 100 yard uh, dash runner, there will be, I don't know, 30 Jamaicans. There. So there's a cap, which is maximum of four. In the runners, is three. In surfing, is two. But there are other countries that might have a great surfer, but for some reasons, they don't qualify. They're really good, but they're not just at the very top. So to make room for universality, the IOC has a rule that says for National Olympic Committees that in the last Olympic Games field a team of all athletes, no more than eight. If they have a surfer that is on the top 50 and that applies, then the surfer could be qualified without having to go through this process. So we received five applications. Three were deemed not uh, acceptable. Two are acceptable. One for a female, one for a male. We're going to announce them at the end of this uh, hit, of this event. I'm sorry, the end of the hit is now. But we're going to announce it at the end of the event. So if the surfer that is in the universality candidate right now, we have a man and a woman as candidates. If they finish qualifying by their own, then they don't need universality. Then the spot of the universality goes to the next in line. Back, no, the slot goes back to the, yeah, to the next in line.